Hello friends, welcome to the help videos of feed for Google Shopping app by some process. In this video, we are going to see how to assign age group in our app using an automated rule. Before moving to the video, please subscribe to our channel to get the tips and tricks about digital marketing. And press bell icon to get notified instantly once we upload any new video. Age group attribute is used to set the demographic factor for your products, while submitting a feed to the Google Merchant Center and other marketplaces or marketing channels. By using the age group attribute, our products can be filtered by age in the ads result. For example, ad results can be filtered by men, boys, or kids separately. The age group attribute works with the gender attribute as well, which helps users to reach their desired product range. Age group is a required attribute for all the products of the apparel and accessories category for enhanced free listing and shopping ads on Google, and similar kinds of ad formats of other marketing platforms. These are the supported values we can choose from. Newborn, up to 3 months old. Infant, 3 to 12 months old. Toddler, 1 to 5 years old. Kids, 5 to 13 years old. Adult, typically teens, or older. We need to assign just one of the above values to the age group field. Hence, we recommend submitting an accurate age group value for all the products that vary by age group. Adding an age group can help ensure that our products are shown with the right search results. Before you proceed for assigning age group value, to resolve the warning message of missing value age group which is flagged by Google in the Google Merchant Center, please ensure that you have assigned the correct Google product category for all your products. We are suggesting this because if Google product category is not assigned by you as per your products, in that case, Google automatically assigns product category. There are times when the product category assigned by Google is observed to be inaccurate. The required attribute for this inaccurate product category may differ from the actual product requirements. Let's have a look at one use case we created for a demo. Here we are filtering a product using error from Merchant Center and selecting missing value age group. It shows three products with that warning. As we can see, Google product category is also not assigned for this product. Upon checking the same product in the Google Merchant Center, we can clearly see that this is a seasonal home decoration product as visible in the product image and stated in the product title. But Google has automatically categorized this product under necklaces, which falls under the category of apparel and accessories. And, as mentioned earlier, age group value will also be required for all apparel and accessories products, Google has raised a warning for missing value age group. So now to resolve this warning. We just need to assign the correct Google product category for this product within a wrap. It can be assigned using the do edits in bulk feature. Once the Google product category is updated in the Merchant Center, warnings related to missing value age group, gender, and color will also vanish automatically without assigning the age group value within the app. We have also added the help video link of how to use the bulk edit feature of the app in the description below. There is a misconception that if we submit adult as age group value in the product feed, then those products contain sexually suggestive content and hence it limits the search result. However, that's not the case. It just implies that these products are not exclusively for children. If your product does contain sexually suggestive content, then use the adult attribute. Now let's proceed with assigning age group using automated rules. The automated rules for assigning the age group within the app can be created using the options listed below. We are going to see some of the commonly used scenarios and use cases. From the app's interface, please hover over the settings menu and select automated rules for feed. Now click on the plus icon and select age group. A dialog window will appear where we are proceeding ahead by selecting the product tag from the first drop down menu, followed by equals as operator, and entering women in the value field. To choose the typed value, either click on women 
or simply press enter. Please use the OR option for adding multiple independent conditions. For this use case, we are adding two more independent conditions based on the product tag and adding the values men and adult. As all these tags implies that age group is adult. We are selecting the adult as a value from the set age group dropdown. Please click on OK to save the condition sets and click here on save the rule as draft or if you want to add another rule, then you can click on add rule. Let's create another rule based on product title with multiple conditions. From the drop-down option, select product title from the first drop-down, followed by contains any of. As an operator for adding multiple values in the single condition, and we will add kids, boy, and girl as values. For this condition set, we will select kids as the age group, and click on OK. We are creating another rule by selecting variant title from the drop-down menu, followed with contains as operator with toddler as value for this condition, as it is obvious from the condition. We will also select the toddler from the age group, selector drop-down, and click on OK to save the condition set. And then proceed with clicking on add rule. Likewise, another rule can be created based on product type, when a certain set of product types intended for any particular age group like here we are using swaddle, newborn wear, and layette set for newborn. Similarly, if any particular brand is only manufacturing products for a certain age group, then it can be also used for assigning age group automatically. We have also added a condition set for the brand First Smile which designs and sells only infant wear. Once all the conditions are defined, we will save the rule as draft. At this screen, the saved rule can be reviewed before applying, and if you wish to change or modify, it can be done by clicking on this draft rule box. The entire rule can be deleted, if not required, by clicking on this discard draft option. For now, let's apply this rule so that app can submit the age group values to Google Merchant Center for each product variant based on the condition it is satisfying. Please note, after applying any automated rule within a wrap, it will take about 30 to 45 minutes to reprocess the feed and submit it to respective marketing platforms. Now let's check how these rules will reflect within the app and Google Merchant Center. Please navigate to the Manage Products page of the app. For this men's leather jacket product, we have already assigned men as the product tag in the Shopify store. Hence it satisfies our first product tag based automated rule for assigning adult as age group value. You might be curious why the product details page has no assigned value under the age group field, even though it satisfies the condition defined in the automated rule. If you see the assigned age group value within the app's product detail page, it means the value is assigned using any of these following methods. It is synced from the product meta field from your Shopify store. It is assigned with app using do edits in bulk feature of the app. Assigned automatically as defined in default settings of the app. We have also added a help video link of how and when to use the default settings of the app in the description below. Actually, any qualifying value for age group which should be assigned based on the automated rule applied will be reflected within the Google Merchant Center and other marketing platforms directly. Let's check if the age group has been submitted to the Google Merchant Center or not by clicking on the direct link here. As we can see here, in the Google Merchant Center's product page, age group already shows adult value under the raw feet attribute section. Similarly, let's check another product, pink hoodie for boys, girls, teenagers winter wear, for which we have created an automated rule with a condition that if the product's title contains boy, girl, or kids, then age group value should be assigned to kids automatically. As we can see here, automated rule has played its role for assigning kids as age group value for this product. Hope this helps. Please subscribe to our channel if you are interested to learn more about Google AdWords and other kind of digital marketing. See you again in another video.